Hi, in this video we're going to look at some algebra constructions based on the Vieta relations for a quadratic equation. So just to remind you from Algebra 1, if we have a quadratic equation divided out by the x squared coefficient, then we can write out two quick relationships for the roots r and s. And they are that uh, minus r plus s is equal to the b coefficient, and the product r times s is equal to the c coefficient. What I'd like to do in this video is demonstrate how several other algebra terms involving r and s can be easily computed. And one of the more common algebra terms in the AMC is the term r squared plus s squared. So let's do that one first. And the easiest way to uh, compute r squared plus s squared is to look at the square of r plus s and expand that into r squared plus 2rs plus s squared. And we can now substitute r plus s for minus b, 2rs for 2c, and we find that b squared is equal to r squared plus s squared plus 2 times c. And bringing the r squared plus s squared to one side, we find that r squared plus s squared is equal to b squared minus 2 times c. Pretty simple result, and one that's uh, easy to derive. Another term that comes up in some of the AMC problems is the algebra term r cubed plus s cubed. And we can evaluate that by factoring into r plus s, r squared minus rs plus s squared. And now we can quickly identify the r plus s as being minus b, the r squared plus s squared from before, and the minus rs is just being minus c. And this quickly reduces to minus b times b squared minus 3c. Again, another simple result that's pretty easy to derive. Another result is to look for r minus s squared. And we can easily expand that into r squared minus 2rs plus s squared. And substitute the r squared plus s squared from before minus 2rs is minus 2c, and this quickly equals b squared minus 4c. And we can also take the square root of this expression to find that r minus s is given by the square root of b squared minus 4c. Uh, this is a result that you could actually find from the quadratic equation, and we have to be careful to keep the plus minus sign in front of the square root because we haven't specified which of the roots r and s is the larger root. One last example is to compute the uh, sum of the reciprocal squared, 1 over r squared plus 1 over s squared. And we can simply add these fractions and find this equal to r squared plus s squared divided by rs squared, and quickly substitute the rs for c, the r squared plus s squared from the result above, and we quickly find that this is equal to b squared minus 2c over c squared. Again, another simple result. So these were simple derivations and results that you don't need to remember, but uh, do remember that these quantities are easily accessible if needed. And uh, check out the description section of this video for example AMC problems involving these results. So good luck and see you at the next video. Bye-bye.